<laughs> this is so bad. Look how s skinny I was. Whatever. If I get copyrighted from this, whatever. But. Oh. What's up, everyone? It's your boy Snazzy, and today. I want to do something different. I haven't done these type of videos in a while. I want to talk about how I used to be a dancer. So this is like story time with Snazzy and I'm going to explain that I used to dance. Why am I not dancing anymore? We'll get to that later. The first time I've ever seen someone dance or a dance move was the worm performed by Scotty Too Hottie on uh, WWE. <laughs> When I saw the worm, I was just like, this is a, a cool move. I'm pretty sure I can still do it, and I won't do it on camera because I don't want there to be an earthquake. I remember dancing at like family parties and trying to put some move together even though it looks like I was uh, moving around like I had doo-doo in my, 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 my pants. And It wasn't until 2004 that I used to dance in a group called the Glow and Cheeky. Glow and Cheeky was the, the dance group and we used to dance a bunch of Filipino songs, a bunch of Filipino events that we performed at and uh, I guess I danced with that group up until 2005 or 2006. I won't show you any pictures because I'm pretty sure I don't want to show you guys them. Because <laughs> it was bad. It was like, I mean, I was getting better. I was improving, but I didn't really find that style because what we used to do is we used to watch a video and we would just learn it. Like, imagine just, there's no tutorial videos. This is not like, there was no YouTube at the time. There was no like TikTok to do like step by step. This was literally just, you see the dance and you try to learn it. No mirrors involved. That's how, or, or, I'm not gonna lie, we weren't in sync. We, we were, there was like about like, 15 of us. It was really fun. It was definitely enjoyable as a kid. It made me realize like, oh, I actually do like dancing. I really like dancing. I still do. By 2007, I started break dancing. Thanks to YouTube and being, uh, seeing, what was it? What was that show? Um, America's Got Talent, seeing the Jabberwockies for the first time. My brother was really into it and he was in high school. He's older than me. So dancing was such like a, a big thing during that period. Fast forward when I'm in high school, there was like drama plays that they needed, you know, backup dancers or or uh, just break dancers. I was so close to join those productions for the drama club, but I didn't join because I did feel like I was ready, but I was nervous. It wasn't until a year later where I was in my video class and I did a dancing video. Let's watch this. so bad how did kids enjoy this they're in the bottle oh my gosh here i am and it's like 360p look i'm like oh okay so the other guys that i did the video with we created dance crew and i forget what the crew was but it was awful we had practice no one really practiced except for me and uh let's just say that uh it got me very irritated because i felt i was the one that was passionate about something and other people didn't want to pull their own weight i feel like for me it's always been an issue with something that i'm passionate about i feel like people don't really understand my drive you know i feel like my drive and my hunger for becoming better can really can cause a strain in my relationships with other people and that's sort of what happened with dancing if you knew me back then i was dancing like 24 7 okay i was addicted to, to dancing my knee screwed me over the doctor said my patella popped but i'm not it's basically my kneecap my kneecap basically popped but it was okay this is 2012 okay so I was a bit scared, so I was like, you know what? I, I'm stopping dancing. I'm done. I'm done for, for a little while. It wasn't until I met Cedric. <laughs> uh, and if you're watching this, Cedric, you, you know the story. We had a dance group called Dynamics. And I will show you some dancing videos right now. Time I pull up, come on, I like that she go. You 
be like, hey, hello. Acting like you really don't know what I'm about. So I jump out. Dynamics was our dance crew, and I felt at that time we were all in the same mindset. We all had the same, like, oh, goals and aspirations for the dance crew. We wanted to improve, we wanted to get better, we wanted to teach a bunch of classes, and we wanted to have a name for ourselves in dancing. You know how I said back in 2012 that my kneecap popped? When I was teaching a class, my kneecap fully like popped and my leg was dislocated. Imagine my knee twisted to this, like this way, and then this leg, my thigh, was, you know, regular. I had to really push it back in because I was in so much pain. It scared me and I, I stopped dancing. I stopped dancing because of it. That's actually not true because I did dance one more time and it was for a Fresh Bond performance. This was choreographed by me and I can tell it was choreographed by me because it wasn't that well. It wasn't done that well. <laughs> This is me and Cedric. We had like no sleep at like for this event. So, and we're also waiting for like a long time to perform. <laughs> if I didn't dance, I would not be where I am right now in my life. Okay, that's the silver lining. I would have not met. met <laughs> I would. I would have not met Cedric. I would have not met Raf. Well, I did know Raf, but it was also in a way with dancing, I would have not known my partner, right? I would have not be probably where I am right now. This took me 45 minutes to talk about a story on how I used to dance. No script, nothing needed, just me talking to the camera. One more thing that I wanted to say is that if it wasn't for dancing and for me to put a pause on it, Fresh Bone, would have not been created. Let's just say that. It would have not been created. Thank you, God, for the blessing. Thank you all for watching. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Snazzy. This video was filmed, like, I think seven to eight months ago. There's a lot more things I wanted to say, but I really appreciate each and every one of you. Honestly, thank you to dancing. Thank you to God. Thank you, God, for this gift. And just, yeah, be happy. Keep doing what you do. Love what you do. Have fun. All right, see ya. Oh yeah, and sorry for the editing on this video, or the filming, how it's all blurry. I apologize for that.